All right, guys. So now I am ready, and I'm going na uh, to the Filipino Institute graduation sa Crown Plaza. <sighs> okay. Sana kaya ko to, kasi I'll be giving an inspirational message to all the graduates. Kaya, yala, let's do this, guys. Hi guys, nandito na kami sa hotel and of course, kagad nandito ang aking kaibigan Hi guys! Na si Bonds! Kamusta kayo? Hindi ko alam na you are a coach pala talaga sa Filipino Institute Yeah So sana kumanta ka Mamaya <laughs> Sige, sige With Sir Juni, kasama ko Sir Juni <laughs> Kamusta naman? Hi Sir! Wow, mukhang puno na tayo ha Wow guys Ooh. Okay So, it, ganito kalaki ang Filipino Institute kapag graduation nila. Hello! Hi! I remember na nag-message ako sa isa Facebook. Ah... Mayroon ka dyan. Hello! Hindi ko na matandaan sa dami. Last time, mayroon na matandaan. Ayun sa dami. Last time, nice night. Ah, okay. Okay, nice meeting you also. Ah, sige, sige. Thank you. On standby ako, guys. Ah, parami na makarami. Ang... Kumusta? So on standby tayo. Uh, and dami na nilang mga estudyante na nandito. And they are actually expecting guys, eh, not expecting. They have actually more than 200 graduates. Kaya yun. Hello, oh, Ate Irene. Sabi ko di mo makita. Sorry naman. It's okay. Hi. Yeah, I'm fine po. Thank you. Sabi ko, ah, oh, FI. Sabi ko, ikaw na alala ko mag FI. <laughs> This is the crowd ng Filipino Institute. Ah. Okay, in. Para ba? Aalakad lang. Hello. Wow. Okay. Mo mo ba 'te? Sa tayo. Ate. The unit in that we're hosting. So we're like hiding outside, <laughs> trying to be like a surprise. Then I noticed that everybody has very good outfit today. So I was like, am I underdressed today? Hi, ladies and gentlemen, wow. say hi! First time, guys, nice! <laughs> they all did say hi. <laughs> this drone is steering My aerial view, Taya. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's move on. Yes. Behind the formidable fortress of Filipino Institute, our founder, Mr. Gabriel John Rimanto. <laughs> uh, may kwento lang ako kasi nakaprepare ako ng speech. Ang speech ko, syempre, regarding, may tanong ako sa inyo, ano ba yung bakit sa inyo? Bakit kayo nagigising sa umaga? Bakit kayo nagigising sa graduation ngayon? Bakit kayo nag-aaral? Bakit? Ano yung sarili nyo? Bakit? Isa lang naman yung bakit eh, di ba? Ito yung dahil sa family natin. Bakit tayo nag-aaral na mabuti? Dahil para mapaganda ang family. Hindi naman tayo tatagal sa mundong ito. Dahil naman ang ginagawa natin dahil sa family natin. 
yung mga wala pang asawa, sa mother natin, sa father, sa mga kapatid. Ginagawa natin ito lahat para sa family. Pero syempre, lahat tayo nag-abroad dahil sa family. Pero minsan, di ba ang hirap? Parang, parang cellphone lang naman yan eh. Di ba yung cellphone, nalulobat. Pag nalobat tayo, kailangan natin ng motivation. Ang hirap pag walang motivation sa sarili eh. Ang ginagawa natin, kadalasan ginagawa natin, kailangan mag-self-motivate tayo. Yung ginagawa ko kasi pag minsan wala talaga, ginagawa ko sa sarili ko, sinasabi ko, kaya ko. Kaya ko, narinig niyo ba yung word na kaya ko? In English, I can do it. Nagbawad ako ng t-shirt para dyan. Para lagi kong maalala. Oh. Ay, kasi ako lagi ang kinakabahan pag nang speech. Lagi ako nang speech pero lagi pa rin ako kinakabahan. Kaya sabi ko, gagawa ko ng t-shirt para kahit hindi ko makakita, kaya ko. Nababasa ba natin? Nung t-shirt natin, yung t-shirt, size, size small. Pag tumatagal na, hindi na hap. Sinabi na, 1, 2, 3, Kaya ko. Sabay-sabay po tayo. One, two, three. Kaya ko. Because this guest of speaker has a lot of achievement. So, Sir Rufi, we better watch the video of today's guest speaker. Mga isang oras na yan. Naka-vlog din yung... Oo. Oo. Mr. Juni Sorsano, an influential blogger and supervisor. Juni arrived in Dubai way back in 2009. He has a strong reputation from a shy company in the Philippines. He has when he decided to pursue a career overseas, specifically Dubai, when he decided to set his goal and expectations high, specifically Dubai, he foresees himself working in the same field that he had developed. A conversation to his disappointment, he landed in the food and beverage industry. He then realized that this is what Dubai life is. Getting your preferred job is as elusive as catching a distant dream. Over the years of staying in Dubai, he learned to adapt and be resilient with everything that surrounds him. It gave him the willpower the strength, and the encouragement to push harder. Then Judy felt the urge to share all these sentiments, experiences, endeavors, and even his fortune through videos. This gave rise to his passion for video blogging. It became his outlet to share everything that he feels. Today, he is considered one of the most followed influencers in the industry. Supported by a massive audience, there is no stopping Juni in continuing what he started on doing what he does best. Speaker of the night, Mr. Juni Sorsano. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the sounds. Uh, get some Beyonce in there. Just kidding. Alright! Wow, ang ganda naman ng uh, scene na katulad nito, no? This is the first time that I'm going to give an inspirational message sa ganitong kalaking crowd. Kaya ngayon pa lang, I would like to congratulate, of course, all the graduates. A round of applause for everyone! Okay, and para naman sa ating mga hindi madamot na mga mentors, Mga coaches, can I request them all to please stand up po? Yeah, kasi guys, alam ko po na ang mga coaches na ito, sila yung may puso para sa kapwa natin Pilipino, para lalo pang mas mapatangkog, mapatagumpayan natin ang ating mga pinapangarap dito sa ibang bansa. So guys, please help me and to give a round of applause for our mentors sa kanilang malaking puso to give time for all of us para po mas maging matagumpay tayo. Alright, so thank you so much, sir and ma'am. Okay, so nakakatawa po no, na sa, sa introduction sa video, I've been like 
one of the top 100 most influential Filipinos in the Gulf. So I received various awards, recognitions, and um, napapublish ako sa ibang, ibang, ibang newspaper. But then, what I wanted to share to all of you today, guys, is ano nga ba yung secret na meron ako for that called uh, success? Or yung naabot mo na ang iyong pangarap? And the secret to that is the distance between you and your dream is action. So, nagsimula po ako dito sa Dubai bilang isang common na kadarasan sa mga Pilipino tourist visa or visit visa holders. Trying their luck para po makahanap ng trabaho, mas malaking sahod, makatulong sa pamilya, at maiahon sa kahirapan. So, way back 2009, pumunta ako dito at ang first job na meron ako is something na hindi ko line. So, nagtrabaho po ako sa Philippines pa lang. Uh, I am already the training specialist of a shipping company. Pagdating dito, I tried so hard. Inabot na yata ako ng two months sa kakahanap ng trabaho. But unfortunately, hindi ko rin maitindihan bakit hindi ako nabibili. So, I joined Hagendas Ice Cream Company. Nagsimula ako as kitchen staff. Kasi I've never been into that field for so long na tatayo ka ng 10 hours. Sabi ko nga noon, nasa loob ka ng kitchen, ang init, mag ko ka ng ice cream, gagawa ka ng waffles, tapos nakatayo ka. Then sabi ko, Lord, kung kukunin mo lang din naman ako, now na. <laughs> Kasi ang hirap. Pero later on, na-realize ko, more than 6 months ako araw-araw na pumapasok sa trabaho, ang bigat ng pakiramdam ko, na parang pumapasok ako sa isang mundo, na hindi ko gusto, kaya nakakapagod. So sabi ko, I think it's about time na sabi ko gusto kong maging katulad ng manager ko. Kasi ayoko na sakit siya lang ako ng six months, ng more than six months pa. So ginawa ko, I accepted the reality. Tinanggap ko na okay, ito talaga yung trabaho na meron na ako. So ano ang pwede kong gawin? What are the actions that I needed that time? para maging manager din ako, katulad ko nakikita ko. So, ginawa ko, I started from myself. Acceptance, guys, is very important. Alam ko, most of us, na nasa ibang bansa po, eh, iba ang linya ng trabaho ang pinapasukan natin. And I know that's really hard. Okay? But minsan, God has a reason why we are in that very situation. Okay? Kasi sabi nila, like ako, bakit ang Philippines, guys? Konting background lang about my vlogging uh, career na tinatawag. Wala po akong background sa media. I am just an ordinary uh, nagtatrabaho sa office and just enjoying my life and watching uh, mga series na mga movies every weekend. So wala akong uh, background sa media. So the reason kung bakit ako napasok sa pagbablog is because of all the hardship na napagdaanan ko. So, what we need para po mag-abot natin ang ating tagumpay is that action. You have to do something. And you are all very lucky to have Filipino Institute para tulungan kayo na mas lalo pang maging ready doon sa posisyon na hinahanap nyo. So, a round of applause sa Filipino Institute. Okay. Super grabe. Sir, kung sinasalutuhan nyo ang lahat kanina, saludo ako sa lahat ko na bumubuo ng Filipino Institute kasi kayo yung pinaka, medyo late na nag-start, but then one of the fastest, di ba, na school na lumaki at nakarating pa sa ibang Middle East country. Nag-start ako ng vlogging, guys. It's because naramdaman ko na napakaraming mga OFW na hindi sila properly guided of what's the real life of Filipinos working abroad. Tama po. Kasi bakit na Philippines, basta maisip lang natin na magtatrabaho tayo sa ibang bansa, ang alam natin, giginhawa na kagad ang buhay natin. Pero hindi nila alam kung gaano kahirap ang pinagdadaanan natin para lang maabot natin yung every end of the month nakakapagpadala tayo. A round of applause po sa kanya. And then hanap tayo naman ng... Uh, Ito si Sir Gabriel, simulan natin. Sir, unang katingyo po dito sa Dubai, ano po yung unang work na meron kayo? Tambay. Sir, very good. 
Okay. Uh, Alright, congratulations! congratulations! <laughs> Pero ngayon, sir, sino na po si Sir Gabriel? Dati pa rin. Walang pagbabago. Tumanda lang ng konti. At tumaba. At saka medyo dumasok. Okay. But sir, the fact is, isa na kayo sa mga tumulong sa mga graduates na to para maabot nila ang kanilang mga pangarap. Kaya, palagpakan mo natin ang bawat isa. Mali yata yung sagot ko. <laughs> Alam ko po na karamihan sa atin uh, nagsimula sa mahirap. Dapat si Lorin. Tama po. Si Lorin. Ayaw niya, isasaktan daw niya ako. <laughs> so ngayon po, sa magiging vlogger ko, hindi kayo nagad natin. Madalas po ako nakaka-receive ng mga messages not only just for OFWs dito sa Middle East, ano, sa Dubai, but from all OFWs from all over the world. So what we need is yung pamilya. Parang diba, ito, this is one thing that I ay, what about this? Nang nakikita ko sa FI, lahat kayo para kayong pamilya kasi dito. So that support, yan yung importante, that there is someone believing on the action na inisip mo para maabot mo ang iyong mga pangarap. Kaya guys, continue po to share the love para sa mga students ng Filipino Institute and continue guys to inspire other OFWs as well na mag-enroll po dito para po mas equip kayo, mas skilled kayo para sa next step na parte ng buhay mo dito sa abroad. Kaya again, congratulations to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Juni. That was very inspiring by far. A very realistic speech. The institute is a tool for giving an education to fellow Filipinos in the UAE. Not only in the UAE, but also across the GCC region. Yes, Sir Rufi, actually, we are conquering the GCC region, which we need to start from, Sir Rufi? We have Kuwait. Kuwait? Bahrain? What else do we have? <laughs> we have two branches in Qatar. Yes, that's the al and the West Bay. West Bay. And in the UAE, Sir Rufi, how many branches do we have now? We have Bera, we have al Quds, we have Ajman, Sharjah, Abu Dhabi. Anything yes. I miss? The, you are correct, Sir Rufi. In the stage, oh. together with uh, Boss Cab. And Dean Lorenzo Malinog. For the awarding of the plaque. Okay, may we read the content of the certificate? Certificate of Appreciation is proudly granted to Juni Sorsano for imparting his valuable insights and inspirations to the students, trainers, and community members during the 7th Filipino Institute Alcus Commencement Exercises. Given this 12th day of May 2017, Dubai United Arab Emirates and of course signed by our president and founder of Filipino Institute, Mr. Gabriel John Rimando. Let's give them a round, a round of applause, please. Sir Juni, it's a great honor having you here. You could also watch his videos online. And 100,000, like over 100,000 views on the videos. And our dear graduates, have you watched the first video when we introduced Sir Juni? Napansin nyo, it's a very uh, new one in Filipino Institute when we are introducing the guest speaker. You can also enroll video editing and videography sessions in Filipino Institute. We've come so far to leave it all behind. I wonder why. Why did you go? Oh, yes, my followers are 
Alright, okay. Hello, hello, baby, you called, I can't hear a thing. Sorry, I cannot hear you, I'm kind of busy. Congratulations, graduates. We are going FI Music Club. Bye bye. Hi, hi, thank you. Then we have a special guest, Mr. Gas from the Guitar Basic. Gas, I'm very gas. If ever you wonder if you touch my soul, yes, you do. Since I met you, we're not the same You bring light to everything I do Just a way to say hello Congratulations, Sir Gabriel, for for all this success. Wow, isa mo din sa dudo para sa iyo. Sir, yung ibang estudyante, ganyan sa dudo. So, sa inyo, Sir, sa dudo. Thank you. Siyempre, bagong bayani sa dudo. Yeah, you know, explanation, guys, kung bakit dito sa Filipino Institute, isa dudo sila. Oh, yes, I'm so excited to announce it online. Kasi binigyan nila ako na ang kanilang t-shirt. Ayan, nandyan po yung kaya ko. Uh, what I like about Philippine Institute, lalo niyong nagmamanage nito, is because marami silang pakulo that can really help them na ma-uplift yung pagiging Pilipino nila, yung pagiging OFW nila, na they are away from the family, and through Filipino Institute, ay matutulungan sila para maabot nila ang kanilang mga pangataw. Okay, ready? Sigaw, ha? Saludo! Sigaw po na rin, sigaw! Ready? One, two, three! Saludo! Yan, yan mo ganda isa pa. Bye-bye guys! At the count of three, one, two, three, saluto. Okay, hold on, hold on. Alright, so one, two, three, saluto! Alright, so these are all the graduates, guys. Filipino Institute. Okay, listen to the instruction. What do we do, boss girl? Thank you, of course, sayo, Madam Kilay. Kilay is life. Thank you, Sir Juni, for saying. And of course, he was able to witness my dance as Madam Kilay of the Philippine Institute. Thank you, bye-bye.